Hello and welcome to Dancing Numbers. Today we are going to see how easily we can remove or delete the information that is no longer required to keep in your QuickBooks online company. And to begin with, you can either click on sign in on the top right corner or you can click on start to start the delete process. The next screen you click on sign in with Intuit. On the next screen, you may be prompted to enter your QuickBooks user ID and the password if the login information is not saved on your computer already. If it is already saved, it will directly take you to the delete process. The types that are available in Dancing Numbers to be deleted are similar to what is supported by QuickBooks Online. So any type of list or any type of transactions could be deleted in bulk using the dancing numbers. In this example, we will try to delete the customers which are no longer required or if you would like to delete them. The next screen gives you an option to filter the data for the transactions as well as for all type of list. You can filter by the name, the transaction reference number, the date or a date range. In this example, you can also select whether the customer is active, inactive or all. And we can go for next. The next screen will show you the list of your customers that are there in QuickBooks Online. If you would like to delete only a few customers or a few transactions, you click the box one by one. Or if you would like to delete them all, you click the top button and click on delete. It will give you a warning message that are you sure you would like to delete them all? Because once it is deleted, it cannot be undone. So please make sure that you have backup or your information is saved before clicking on yes. So I'm gonna say yes in this, ex in this situation. Depending on number of transactions or number of list or the number of items, it may take some time in order to delete them. If they are deleted successfully, it will show you deleted. If they are not deleted, you can switch to the error tab, which will show you why it was not deleted. There could be multiple reasons for not being able to delete a particular transaction or a list if that is associated or connected with any kind of transaction or any type of name. First, we need to find out, delete that, and then only we will be able to delete what you really wanted to delete. Thank you.